Yo, what's up, Phoenix Master fans? My name is the Flawless Win, and since Pietro is on vacation right now, he asked me to upload a guest narration for him, and I gladly accepted. So, big thanks to Pietro's buddy, what's his name, Slow Plays, for recording this for me. Um, I don't have my own capture card yet, so unfortunately I have to ask people to do it for me. But this is an OU battle versus Mega Deep Hal I had, and we're both using some pretty offensive teams. Uh, big threats on his team are definitely going to be that Terrakion, if it turns out to be Banded, because I really have no switch-ins for Banded Terrak, and also that Mega Venusaur. Uh, I have no Grass types to take the Sleep Powder, and I really have nothing that wants to switch in on its dual stabs, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into the battle. Now, I'm going to be leading off with my Scarf 8, because it's a really good lead, honestly, um, and I thought he might want to lead off with Greninja or something like that, um, but he leads off with his Landorus, and... Lots of Scarf Apes like to carry HP Ice, and I thought he might be fearing that and want to switch out, so I go for the U-turn. Uh, then again, I really had no other play I could have made there, because I don't have many moves that can damage this thing, since I don't have HP Ice. Um, so I'm just going to U-turn now into my Charizard Y, because I, I know he can take really anything. Um, I knew he really wouldn't go for the Stone Edge there, that would have been a really ballsy play to make turn 1. And he doesn't, he goes for the U-turn of his own, and the way he led off with that thing and went straight for the U-turn, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Scarfed, and this Terrakion he brings in now will be his Stealth Rocker. So, I'm going to switch into my Sylveon, because I know since he's not banded, most likely, I can really take any hit from him. And it does turn out to be a Stealth Rocker, as I assumed. Um, now, I know he's probably going to switch out into his Venusaur. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double switch out into my Infernape, and I know that Mega Venusaur does have Thick Fat, and he can most likely take a Flare Blitz if he is defensive, but I know this thing is a really big threat to my team, and Mega Deepal is definitely going to want to keep this thing at a good amount of health, so I know he'll probably switch out into something to take a Flare Blitz, so what I'm going to do is switch is uh, go for the U-turn as he brings in his Landorus. And uh, this is pretty much perfect for me because this gives me a free switch into my Exadrill because I do carry the Air Balloon on that. And uh, I'm not going to go straight for the Rapid Spin here, although I really need to because I know he still has his uh, Terrakion left. What I'm actually going to do is go for the Stealth Rocks because he doesn't have a Spinner and um, these Stealth Rocks will definitely be really useful because he, he's been doing a lot of switching in this battle and uh, these Stealth Rocks will be really good at wearing down his team as he switches in and out. So. He U-turns out into his Venusaur, um, I guess this thing is defensive, uh, just to take an Earthquake or an Iron Head or something like that. And what he's going to do now is double switch into his uh, Terrakion, knowing that I probably won't go for the Earthquake or the Iron Head. I'm actually going to go for the Rapid Spin because I really need these rocks out of here because I have a Zard Y and a multi-scale Dragonite and these rocks will really be hindering my team. So he double switches out into his Terrakion like I said and I know he's probably just going to set up his rocks again because he really needs those up. So what I'm going to do is just knock out this Terrakion with an Earthquake predicting the Stealth Rocks and that goes right according to plan and I'm going to be able to knock that thing out. So. Hopefully, later in the battle, I'll be able to spin these rocks away because my uh, extra drill is still at a good amount of health, and I really, really need these rocks out of here if I want to win this battle. So, he's going to bring in his Greninja just to force me out. Um, and I'm going to switch out into my Sylveon because I know I can take a Life Orb Hydro Pump because even though I don't have any special defense investment on this thing, uh, Sylveon is really specially defensive, so I was pretty confident I could. Um, now, I know he's probably going to be expecting me to. Um, double switch out into Infernape again like I did last time, expecting his um, uh, Venusaur to come in. So what I'm going to do is actually stay in, predicting him to go for the Hydro Pump, and go for the Hyper Voice. That goes right according to plan, and I actually do get a crit on that Hyper Voice. Um, I don't know if it really mattered, because if he... I think he that Hyper Voice would have been done enough damage to um, kill him on Stealth Rock switch in, so I really don't think that crit mattered, because uh, Pixelate Hyper Voice on Sylveon is actually pretty powerful. Now he brings in his Bisharp, and since his Terrakion and his uh, Greninja are gone, uh, those are really the only things my Sil I needed my Sylveon for, so I'm just going to leave it in to die. I really don't have anything I want to switch in on a Bisharp. Um, and I guess he predicts me to switch out as he goes for the knockoff. I'm going to be able to get a large amount of damage on him with that, um, with that Hyper Voice. Now, right here, this is the most crucial play of the battle. So, I didn't see a Life Orb on his... On his uh, What's this thing called? Uh, Bisharp. So I was thinking, alright, I can live a Sucker Punch and just rapid spin these rocks away right here because I really need these gone. And uh, he actually told me after the battle that he was Dread Played, which is why I didn't a Life Orb. But as you saw from that calc there, max damage is 152, so he still needs a really high damage roll to knock me out. Unfortunately, he does get a very high damage roll, 
and he knocks me out with the Sucker Punch, and that pretty much sealed the battle there, because I really need those rocks out of there if I want to win this battle, and he just knocks me out with the Sucker Punch. So, I'm going to be forced to go into my Infernape to knock this thing out. I'm just going to go for the close combat. Um, I was actually really scared here that he'd bring in his Dragonite and start setting up uh, Dragon Dances. I still think I would have been able to handle it, but that would have been a big problem. Thankfully, he doesn't bring in his Dragonite, which tells me that's probably not a DD variant. Um, and he just brings in his Landorus. I, I'm just going to sack my Ape here because I really don't have anything to switch into this. Um, especially, I know he's probably not going to go for the Earthquake since I still do have my Zard Y, so I don't feel comfortable switching that in. Um, but he actually goes for the U-turn and gets a crit and actually still doesn't knock me out with it. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to be able to get off. One more close combat now as he brings in his Venusaur, and this is actually kind of helpful for me because um, I do need a little bit of chip damage on this Venusaur to knock it out with my Zard Wise Fire Blast. So he's going to Mega Evolve here as I go for my close combat, and I do get off a... Actually, no, that's not good damage at all. That's pitiful damage considering that was a stab close combat, but I guess I was intimidated, so I couldn't really um, expect more from that. So. Yeah, uh, that damage actually is going to come into play here because I will be able to bring in my Zard Y and uh, knock him out with a Fire Blast. And if, if he was at full health and had only taken Stealth Rock damage, I don't think I'd be able to knock him out. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be able to bring in my Zard Y here, and he has nothing to switch into this Fire Blast. So I'm just going to Mega Evolve and go straight for the Fire Blast and uh, just roast this thing alive. Unfortunately, <laughs> I freaking miss, and he's going to be able to knock me out with the Sludge Bomb there, so yeah, that's that just seals the deal right there. Um, I may have been able to win if I was, were able to keep my Zard Y alive, um, but no. I miss the Fire Blast, and he's going to be able to knock me out with the Sludge Bomb, so that is pretty much the end of the battle right there. And just salt in the wound, I miss another Fire Blast as I bring in my Gouge right here, um, and this is just getting really annoying, so... He's just going to keep spamming Sludge Bombs, Sludge Bombs, Sludge Bombs, what the hell. Um, yeah, he's just going to keep spamming Sludge Bombs, um, no really, no need to go for like Sleep Powder or Sleech Seed or anything like that to stall me out, because he can just bring in his, uh, Dragonite after this and just spam Extreme Speed, because I'm pretty sure he's banded. Um, and he did tell me he was banded after the battle, so, uh, he's going to get the poison on this last Sludge Bomb, so he'll be able to knock me out as I knock him out with the Dragon Pulse, um, so all he has left is the, uh, the Dragonite and the Landorus, I think. And all I have left is my, um, shoot, what do I have left? Uh, well, let's just see. Let's let Kutra die and see. So he brings in his Dragonite as I bring in my own Dragonite. So I have my own Dragonite left, and, um, actually, I think that's it. I only have my own Dragonite left. So he's going to bring in his Dragonite, and I think my Dragonite is Jolly, so I was thinking I might be able to... Um, outspeed him and kill him here, but he does make the better play and go for the extreme speed just to get off damage. Um, he really only needed damage on me, so he could bring in his uh, Landorus and knock me out the next turn. So his Landorus is his last Pokemon, and what I need here to win is pretty much a crit extreme speed, and considering I did miss two Fire Blasts, and he did get a really high damage roll, I think it would be kind of fair if I did get a crit here, but no, um, I don't get the crit, and he's going to be able to knock me out with the HP Ice, so good battle with Mega Deep Hal, I really had fun with that, it was nice, quick, intense battles, so guys, definitely check out Mega Deep Hal, and check out me too, if you enjoyed this narration, so yeah guys, thank you Pietro for letting me do this guest narration, thank you Slow Plays for recording this, and I guess I'll see you later, bye.